gentlemen, thanks very much for coming along today. I just want to provide a, um, an overview of our activities, policing activities for New Year's Eve um, in and around the South Bank area and the um, Brisbane Central District Entertainment Precinct, which extends to the Brisbane City, Fortitude Valley uh, and the Caxton Street Precincts. Uh, tonight, as uh, everyone expect, um, the aim of the police, Queensland Police Service in conjunction with partner agencies such as Queensland Rail, Brisbane City Council, various state government departments, um, have an objective of providing a safe environment for members of the community attending um, these venues that I've just mentioned. We're expecting large crowds in South Bank in the vicinity of 80,000 plus people and in the vicinity of 40 to 50,000 around the other entertainment precincts in the Brisbane Central area. Um, to provide um, a policing service, we've uh, rostered on a extra number of police uh, who will be uh, working in those areas, South Bank. Um, the South Bank area, we have an excess of 200 police officers in conjunction with security provided by South Bank Corporation. Um, and in the, in the Brisbane Central District, we also have a large number of extra police rostered on for that particular night. The um, public transport, um, I really push the fact that if people are planning to come into these entertainment precincts, if they could please consider using public transport. Um, parking will be at a premium and also um, as a policing response there will be um, random breath tests being conducted in various locations on main thoroughfares departing the, um, the city South Bank areas. Uh, Translink are providing free Translink services from 9pm tonight until 5.30 in the morning and Queensland Rail will be uh, running rails right through the rail um, trains right through the night to the early hours tomorrow morning. Uh, taxi services will be provided and the major taxi ranks in the city, Fortitude Valley and South Bank areas will have um, uh, taxi council people there working to assist people into the taxis. A um, couple of points we'd just like to make in relation to personal safety. We just encourage people going out tonight um, to have a good time but to be very, very sensible in the way they behave. The predominant thing is to look after your mates. Um, if you have a friend that becomes intoxicated, look after them. Don't abandon them, don't leave them there. Um, there'll be large volumes of people with two lots of fireworks at South Bank, one at 8.30pm and the other at midnight, which um, there will be huge numbers of people at various vantage points, including Kangaroo Point and Mount Cooper. So we're just asking people going to those locations to um, enjoy the fireworks. Um, a lot of families will be there, have consideration for other people that are, are doing the same in that area, viewing the fireworks. And um, just ensure that um, you look after your friends and that you um, are aware of your surrounds and, and people around you and who is around you. Uh, one bit of safety advice is if someone does approach you and becomes a bit aggressive, walk away. Um, as you know, we've had the uh, One Punch Can Kill campaign for a number of years and we've all seen that over a period of time, so the effects of One Punch, um, what they can have on people. So. You're not a coward if you walk away, it's a smart move, so we'd encourage that to occur. Um, the other thing is too, if you're coming into town, uh, ladies in particular, the handbags, take your valuables out and have minimum, minimal valuables in your handbag. Um, just as a bit of a, a safety precaution, um, if you do lose the bag or you do happen to have your bag stolen. Uh, as I said, we'll have a large police presence there. Um, Behaviour that is not acceptable, the community will be dealt with in a swift manner. and. Um, just to ensure that, that people in the area do enjoy themselves and do enjoy themselves in, in a safe manner. What sort of history of one you think about trying to sneak in alcohol to those precincts like South Bank? Well, South Bank is an alcohol-free zone. Um, action will be taken against them and they'll be removed from the South Bank precinct. Um, it is an alcohol-free zone. A number of families will be there tonight enjoying festivities and um, there is a number of security officers and police there, so anyone with alcohol there will certainly be found out. You, you, you get people that try um, to flout the law and, and try and to get around things, but uh, it's going to be very, very difficult um, for them to do that this evening. Well, we've got a number of police out there, and, and um, alcohol, drugs um, is an ongoing concern. Um, but as I said, we have a number of police out there, and uh, they were there taking enforcement action on any person found in possession or using any drugs in any of these areas. Uh, as I said also, there'll be a heavy traffic presence tonight um, around, in and around those vicinities and also in the major routes departing those vicinities in the city. So we're really encouraging people 
to use public transport. Um, this year the road fatality list is, is at 279, which is 10 more than last year. And the last thing we need is more fatalities on the last day of the year. Um, you mentioned about 200 aircraft that there was about 300 aircraft that was evacuated. Did you speculate that it is not a big deal for, for the circumstances? For a single policing event in, in South Bank, it probably is one of the biggest nights. There are other nights with the fireworks um, and other functions there, but tonight seems to be the biggest night in that area. Uh, hence the large police presence and security presence uh, provided by South Bank. Is, is it 200 extra or is it more than 300 or what? No, it's, it's 200 extra, plus there is a normal police uh, rostered on performing their normal calls for service. What would be the allotment of uh, For South Bank it, itself, at the South Bank precinct, is 200 extra police and approximately 135 security officers. Can you advise me about alcohol addiction? That's the, that's the thing. Um, alcohol abuse often leads to a lot of these, um, you know, disturbances or assaults or offences being committed. And that's why we're asking, if you're out there with a the group, look after your mates. If you have a mate or a friend that is intoxicated and becoming a little bit unruly, look after them, get them home and get them out of any environment where they can cause trouble. Um, it's the last thing that, that people need when we're out celebrating a, a New Year's. And how about um, the safety around the house locking up your house? That's correct. That's a um, common sense approach again is home security, is um, locking your house, making sure that it's um, all the windows and doors are locked, leave a light on. Um, also consider your pets, you know, the number of fireworks um, going on in various areas in neighbourhoods as well as the ones in town. Um, so just consider your pets as well. Um, in home security, it's, it's a common sense approach. You know, if you're going out, lock up. Um, if you are staying home and you've got, you know, you've got neighbours out, um, keep an eye on your neighbours' places. Um, and as I said, there'll be a number of police, the normal calls for service will be attended to and, and normal police rostering will occur in the suburbs. Do you know the number of arrests made last year? No, look, I haven't got those stats with me at the present time. How about in general for arrests and to do with being quiet and not working? Yeah, sorry. How about in general? It's, um, it, it, we, anywhere we have alcohol in large groups of people, you've got to expect a certain amount of trouble. Um, all I can say is that um, the police will be there, they will be intervening uh, to ensure that the, the, the general public that do behave do have a safe and enjoyable night. Look, I think generally on a whole, the community is, is, is pretty well behaved. I think. Um, a lot of responsible people out there that just want to go out with their families and friends and have a dinner, have a few drinks and see the New Year's in, in without any trouble. Um, I think most of the community, um, the general population, do want to behave and do do the right thing. But unfortunately we do have elements that do want to go out that can't handle their alcohol and do, um, do not consider the well-being of other people. Um, unfortunately it's a part of life where you, you're always going to get that element. It's, well, hopefully with the alcohol-free uh, ban or in that environment, there'll be no alcohol fuel violence in the South Bank area. Um, I, I guess the biggest thing is just policing a large crowd in a confined area. Um, that's the big difficulty, ensuring that a safe environment is there. Queensland Ambulance Service are providing uh, extra services in the South Bank area to, um, to cater for any injuries or, um, as well. So. No, we've got a mixture of officers. We've got um, police from the Mounted Police will be working in those areas. The Public Safety Response Team will be there. We have uh, plain clothes officers from State Crime Operations Command. Um, there is uh, police from the Queensland, um, from the Rail Squad that will be there. General Duties Officers and uh, a number of traffic branch and state traffic support group police there as well. That's right. We have just in excess of 200 police in South Bank and then a replica of that in the um, Brisbane Central District covering the Fortitude Valley, Brisbane City and Caxton Street precincts. Um, there are extra staff that are rostered on, plus we have our normal staff 
who attend the normal calls for service uh, not as part of the normal rostering process. Yeah, so I suppose normally what's announced is the public will be released to the I, I couldn't, for South Bank, yeah. well, South Bank specifically got the 200 and I, I couldn't tell you accurately what the other numbers would be within that Metro South area. Because there was going to be a free bus and van going after uh, There's free TransLink service after 9pm tonight till 5.30 in the morning and the trains will be running continually through the night into the morning. Okay. Nothing further? Thanks for